Hello everyone, welcome back to King Solutions, my name is Philip King. Before we begin this video, I would like to ask a favor from you. If you like our videos, then please click on the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to show your support. Thank you. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install, activate, and run Ghidra. The installation information provided is effective as of Ghidra 10.1, though this is subject to change with future releases. What is Ghidra? Ghidra is just one of the many open source software projects developed within the National Security Agency. They announced the release of Ghidra at the RSA conference in January 2019. So what is Ghidra? Well Ghidra is a multi-platform reverse engineering framework that runs on all the major operating systems, that's Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. The framework was first mentioned in the CIA, Vault 7 Dump, which was leaked in 2017. Here, WikiLeaks obtained thousands of files allegedly originating from a CIA high security network. The network detailed CIA hacking techniques, tools, and capabilities. The leak also included the Java-based engineering tool Ghidra. The NSA has now placed the Ghidra software, the very software it used to find vulnerabilities and security holes in applications, into the public domain. You can find the complete source code for Ghidra along with build instructions in the GitHub repository. To use Ghidra, you will need a 64-bit operating system, running Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, or Linux operating system with these minimum hardware and software requirements. Please note, all 32-bit operating system installations are now deprecated. Also note that Ghidra requires a supported version of a Java runtime and development kit included on the system path to run. Installing Ghidra is very easy. All you need to do is download the Ghidra distribution file, and extract it to the desired file system destination using any unzip program. So go to the Ghidra home page, and click on the download button. This should take you to GitHub. In the latest release of Ghidra, look in the assets section for the public release zip file. This is the file you need to download to a directory on your computer. In this example, I've downloaded the file to the program files directory on my D drive. You might like to note that this is not the Windows program files directory, located on my C drive. I suggest you download the file to the same directory where you intend to extract the files, as in this case. This is because Ghidra does not use a traditional installer program. Instead, the Ghidra distribution file is simply extracted into a directory. This has advantages and disadvantages. On the plus side, administrative privilege is not required. Also, as it does not update anything in the registry, removing Ghidra is as simple as deleting the Ghidra installation directory. On the downside, if you require shortcuts, you have to create them yourself. So, once downloaded, just unzip the file to the same directory. This should give you the Ghidra install directory. If you don't have an unzip program, try using 7-zip, it's open source. On entering the Ghidra public directory, you should see directories related to the documentation and components used for running and debugging Ghidra. Once you have finished examining these files, click the Ghidra run bat file, to start the program. If everything goes well, you should see the Ghidra user agreement. On the other hand, if you encounter an error message such as, Java runtime not found, you either do not have Java installed or it is not on the system path. A Java runtime is required to be on the system path. If you do not have Java installed, just download and install the latest Java development kit from Oracle. With the Ghidra user agreement displayed, click the I agree button, to continue. This will start the installation of Ghidra. When finished, you should see three window boxes. The tip of the day. Ghidra's help page. And Ghidra's project page. To start a project in Ghidra, close both the tip of the day, and help pages. This should leave just the project manager window open. To create a new project, 
start by clicking on the file button. Then select, new project, from the drop down menu. And click the next button, when you are ready. Now enter a project directory, and give the project a nice name. Then click finish, when you are ready. This will create the project in the project manager. To import a binary, you can use file. Import file. Select the file to import. And finally, click the select file to import button. Alternatively, you could simply drag and drop the binary file into the project manager. Either method will bring up the import dialog box. Here you can ensure the format was detected correctly and the binary information such as the architecture and bit size is correct. When you are happy with the setup, click OK, and let Kidra import the binary. Once the import is complete, it will display the import results summary. Here you can see the number of functions, symbols, and other data relating to the binary import. Click OK, when you are ready. To start the code browser, double click on the binary. When asked if you want to analyze the binary, Click Yes, to start the process. This will take you to the analysis options. Scroll through these and check the settings are as required. The defaults are usually OK. It's worth noting that selecting the decompiler parameter ID, can improve the results produced. Click the Analyze button when you are ready. You should see the progress in the bottom right of the window, and also, the elements slowly updating. Depending upon the size of the binary, you might have to wait several minutes for the process to complete. Time now for you to start exploring. If you would like to learn more about reverse engineering with Kidra, I recommend Matthew Alt's short course at Hackadayu. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, then please click on the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to show your support. You should also check out the King Solutions website, the links are below the video. See you soon, and thanks again for taking the time to view this video.